Oh, that was easy enough. It's done. Will you look at that? That's what she Tell said. your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. The various achievement unlocked. Oh wait, so am I already able to get in? That was kind of easy. Dead or at the start of that quest line, maybe? Go fuck yourself. Any luck? It's done. I'll speak to a Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. We'll see what happens when this debt is repaid. If only Bethany were here with us. Oh, God. And Wesley. Uh, let it go. That was like 15 minutes ago. Let's go. This is only the beginning. Is it me or are her cheeks kind of puffy? I tried to kind of bring them in a bit, but... Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the Champion. It's a complicated bladder. No! Andraste's pitch, human! You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're... No! You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. You need us. We fought Darkspawn. Look, precious. I don't care if you tore the horns off an ogre with your bare hands. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. I'm in charge. You do what I say. Damn right. Right, sister. My brother can be a fool, but he's right about this. We are what you need. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Well, back to waiting for someone to turn us in. Too many refugees disappear for you to threaten people who could help us. I know. I just... How long do we work for scum who don't want us around? We need coin, status, something we can shove in that dwarf's face and keep people off our backs. And all I can think of is Uncle Gamlin. I wouldn't trust him with a silver. But dear uncle's at least as sleazy as Bartrand. How's that for a compliment? What else can we do? We're losing ground, and I don't fancy waking up in the gallows. That was Godfather music for a second. Hey! Ow. 
I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you? You don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> How do you do? Merrick Tethras, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. It's like if Miami Vice poured all over a dwarf. You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The Deep Roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my brother as well, then. A little, yes. But it is you they speak most of, Nasser. That figures. Jedi. Your brother is certainly welcome to join us by all means, but I'll leave that in your hands. No, he could say Oh, I'm it. going. Without this expedition, we won't last out the year. He said he didn't need another guard. <laughs> we don't need another hireling. You we think? need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. I hope there's more to this. Like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the Deep Roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. The Dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. Certainly better than ending up in the Gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? There might be nothing down there except Darkspawn and Rubble. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping its strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the Deep Roads are so old, even the Dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there, then Bartrand will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. You named your crossbow. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know, and I'll be the last. If this is a trick, you'll pay for it, Dwarf. Wonderful! I'll take that as a yes. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. 
Sure, easy. But maybe Aveline's got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. They told me you were wrong, and they was right. Ah, high town, where the rich go to piss their money away. <laughs> this really is the best place in Kirkwall. Friend in the guard, Eveline may have information about working with the city guard. Talk to her at the barracks in the Viscount's Keep. A new home? Go to Gamlin's home in Lowtown. Deliver famous Emmett to Keeper Matthew from the Dalish Camp in Sundermount. Wow, I've still got that thing. Find a way to become partner to get the deep roads, bring the 50 sovereigns, talk to Varric and Lowtown's hangman. Oh, time to level up my guys. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I wanted to show some of um, his abilities here. Real quick, um, he's got general rogue abilities. It looks like this one is specific to him, called Bianca. I'm going to go with that um, because I'm going to be doing a lot of AE, and the less people in AE, the better. Basically, the idea that I want to go with is, is an AE group with just one tank running up and tanking everything while the, everybody else AEs, and he's got actually AE arrow abilities. So that's kind of cool that might work out and I need you know basically a lock pick bitch and that's what he's gonna be doing so there you go new codex the coterie Kirkwall is built on a solid foundation of greed and human suffering it is underworld is a place where everything is for sale and everyone is fair game. There are many criminal empires within the city, some of which have been around since the Imperium used Kirkwall as a hub in the slave trade. Alliances, spy, manipulation, betrayal, and open warfare is all commonplace in the never-ending struggle for power. The Coterie is a thieves' guild that has been around for almost a century, but until recently was never a major player in the underworld. Some 20 years ago, the strongest of the local criminal empire was an ancient guild known as the Sebrathen. But its leader was betrayed from within, and during the turmoil, the Coterie made a successful grab for power. Since then, they've sunk their claws into almost every level of Kirkwall, including the city guard, the dwarven merchants guild, and some of the most influential citizens in the city. It's safe to say that the Coterie get a slice of every pie, and a very little goes on it, and very little goes on in Kirkwall that escapes their notice. I'm here. Right behind you. Keep a hand on your coin, Hawk. There are more cut purses in Hightown than in the rest of the city combined. I want to see any trouble from you. Shut your ass. Watch yourself. You know, Junior, it's eerie how much resemblance there is between you two. She's my sister. Of course there's a resemblance. Oh, you thought I meant Hawk. I was talking about Gamlin. Maker, I hate you, dwarf. Nothing new today. Oh, God. Um... <laughs> Don't mind him, Monsieur. Sandal's never been one for conversation. Bodan, Fedic, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, and at chocolate? your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? We'll face both Darkspawn and the Unknown. Indeed. And who knows what shall await us at the end. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The favored dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. I like enchantment. 
<laughs> he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this sort of expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true road. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine woman. After all her accomplishments, may she find even greater success. Ah! But surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. Let's see what you have. By all you means, think feel free well. to peruse my wares whenever you wish. In Arzamora, Dwarven society is divided into rigid castes with houses that compete for power and prestige, but all that is discarded when the Dwarven abandons the stone for the surface. Under the open sky, everyone is equal, or so the story goes. The truth is that thousands of years of tradition are not so easily tossed aside. Even though surface dwarves are officially stripped of their caste, many maintain a har air <sighs> hierarchy among themselves among the old caste lines. Formerly noble houses are accorded more respect than castless brands who come up in search of opportunity. The poorest noble dwarf on the surface looks upon the rich lower caste dwarves with contempt. Upper class surface tour society is roughly divided into two camps. Kalnas, who insist on maintaining caste and rank, typically those from the noble merchant caste families, and ascendants, who believe in leaving Arzamar's traditions underground and embracing life in the sunlit world. Maintaining some tie to Arzamar was seen for generations as the only lifeline for surface dwarves. Bringing surface goods to their kin underground and lyrium and metals to the surface was not only the most lucrative means of making a living, but also a sort of sacred duty, as many surface dwarves willingly accepted exile and the loss of their caste to better serve their house or patron. In recent years, many surface dwarves, particularly ascendants, have branched out. They started banks, mercenary companies, and overland trade caravans. They became investors and speculators in purely surface trade. These new indus industries have proven tremendous sources of wealth, but are looked down upon by their more conservative kin. For less affluent surface dwarves, associations with a powerful Kelna can open many doors. They can get credit with dwarven merchants and are often work offered work opportunities by the powerful Dwarven Merchants Guild more readily, sometimes the more qualified but less connected individuals. And Chakma? What do you need, my good friend? Oh, what can Let's I do see for what you? you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. I can't cast that here. Uh, I would like to buy from you, jackass. Oh. Enchantment, damn it! Alright, enchantment. Enchantments add powerful new properties to items that have room slots. Putting a slot permanently consumes the room. Visit companions' home bases to have longer discussions with them than you can in the field. Uh, that's interesting. Um, choose a rune, which I have none. Why does this asshole what keep saying? What do you need, my good friend? That I can. Let's buy. see what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. Okay, am I crazy, or is he telling me that I can what buy from need, him? What do you my good friend? Let's see what your son can do. Oh. Enchantment! You're, you're about to become a man. Okay, well, I'm just going to assume that I can't buy from him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I have to click the bag. Right. Ah, okay, so I guess this is the crap that I have. Long bar. Alright, well, I'm not gonna bother making you watch while I figure out what I'm buying and selling. I will do that and come right back. Alright, I'm back. And I didn't really have that much stuff to sell anymore. 
Then Chapman? How much longer before we go? I gave up a job on the docks for this. Bloody army. A few weeks in the deep roads won't be that bad, right? Right. Bloody get back. Where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand. So suspicious. I have in fact brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid nug humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. Glad to see you're finally seeing some sense. I'd prefer to see some coin. That all in Varric's head, or do you have any? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. Maybe they can None of that some hair. bloody cheap. You'll get your coin. And how about you tell me when that happens? Until then, you're not much of a partner. Relax, Why do you have to Bartrand. say that? Have I ever let you down? You don't want me to answer that. Enchantment? Enchantment! I like enchantment. Everybody, enchantment tonight. Everybody. They'll let anyone into High Town these days. Mother, I'm sorry. Were you saying something, bitch? Bitch? Smack your ass. Effectively. Freeport. Not much to see here. That's what she said. Flowers. I should get flowers for my hair. The blooming rose. I don't know what's in here, but I'm going in. Interesting place. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. Uh. What's up? The merchandise is up front. I've got your usual ready and waiting for you upstairs, Sarah. So many thanks, Madame Lucine. Whoa, he's getting the blush. Are you? We are not a charitable organization, Sarah. If you cannot pay, you will have to take your lonely self elsewhere. Is that clear? Two sovereigns for premium service, one sovereign for standard service. Fifty silver, and someone may touch you. Briefly. I'm not interested. Uh, of whoa, 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 whoa. I don't speak for both Poverty of us. had nothing to do with your decision, I'm sure. I won't mention this to your mother if you don't. Hey, what's in here? I don't care how much that man pays, I'm not rubbing Hubert's feet again until he pays. Disgusting. Looks kind of like my sex life. A lot of covered faces, money exchanging hands, and crying. Tell Sabina if her brat gets on his foot again, I'll drop kick him out the door. It's not a real up-to-date RPG if there's not a brothel. By the way, I'm holding tab just so I can see everything.
Did I forget why yeah, I'm here? Sergeant, You'll ruin my business. I'll ruin your business. Just give me about five minutes. My mom works here. <laughs> yeah, I know your mom works here. Welcome to the Blooming Rose. Personally, I wouldn't say it's blooming precisely, but the name's not my choice. Blooming Rose is probably not one of my would use. Maybe Me. Arby's. Arby's would have not have been a better choice. You know, Junior, you're looking at this all wrong. Whatever it is you're about to say, I'm not interested. I'm a professional younger I can't brother. Do that. Trust me, the center of attention's the worst place to be. When things go wrong, and they always do, that's where all the fingers point. Look at any kingdom in Thetis. You've got people who warm thrones, and people nobody sees who do the real work. And my sister is a queen in this scenario. Perfect. Point? Missing it. Oh well. By the way, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the reason I'm kind of trying to twist the camera around... Hello. Not going to happen. The reason I twist the camera around when they're talking is because... I don't know if, if it changes it when I encode it, but when I'm listening to it, I've got surround on and I get headset on. It doesn't quite do it right, so I can't hear what they're saying really. You want me to do what? Uh, I don't think so. Not likely. Not likely. So... I've been putting points in his cunning. So, does he automatically lockpick? Not likely. I'm gonna... You want me to do what? Uh, I don't think so. The game is smart enough to automatically lockpick. I don't think I can do that. So, I will assume he just doesn't have the skill for it. So, I am just gonna think that I get a quest later to come here. Why can't I just, you know, make some money while I'm here? I'll get your order in a minute. He didn't really ask you to wear a feather boa. Olasian. The Enderfells. The Enderfells are a land of shocking extremes. It is the most desolate place in the world. The two blights have left great expanses of the steppes so completely devoid of life that corpses cannot even decay. No insect or grub will ever reach them. It is a land filled with wonders like the uh, Mordain, with its gigantic white statue of Our Lady carved into its face, her hands outstretched and bearing an eternal flame. And the Weisshop Fortress, with its walls of living rock towering over the desolate plains below. The Anders, too, are people of extremes, the most devout priests and the most deadly soldiers, the poorest na nation in the world and the most dying. You get used to it. So yeah, we'll go back outside now. I need to earn some money so I can come back. Refugees. They're like rats. See, if this was Fallout, this town would be wiped out, like, already. I see a quest marker over here. I want to go over there and see what this is. see what the haps. Oops. But not my Kirkwall, High Town. At the height of the Deventer Imperium slave trade, Kirkwall's elite prospered beyond dreams of avarice. High Town was built for the wealthiest slavers. It's grisly. Glitzy mansions rising atop a great wall of rock that lures on one side the waking sea. Low town cowered on its other side until Kirkwall's slave rose to plunder and destroy High Town's riches. Today, High Town's prominent buildings are the keep, home to the ruling Viscount and the Chantry, home of the Grand Cleric and the city's religious center. Both are con converted estates that once housed wealthy magisters rebuilt and converted after the uprising. 
tea, a leg of ham, daisies for the front hall, and... Oh, what am I missing? 